Hello and welcome back to the Air Armoury. I'm JRH and today I'm looking at the history and products of the Phoenix Arms Company. So you may or may not have heard of the Phoenix Arms Company, but this is almost like a second part to my video on the Sussex Armoury. Now in case you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Now in that video, we left the story in 1983, at which point the Sussex Armoury had gone into liquidation and Air Arms had taken over manufacture of the newly rebranded Jackal Air Rifles, which Sussex Armoury had made their name with. However, that isn't the whole of the post-Sussex Armoury story. Now, like a true phoenix, the Phoenix Arms Company rose from the ashes of the Sussex Armoury. Now, the managing director of Sussex Armoury was a name, man named Richard Marriott Smith, and following the demise of the Sussex Armoury, he went on to set up the Phoenix Arms Company. I have here a copy of the November 1983 issue of Airgun World magazine. Now, the Sussex Armoury had gone out of business the previous year, in April 1982. Now, in this magazine, there is a review for the... Air Arms Woodsman, which had previously been made by the Sussex Armoury and marketed as the Jackal Woodsman. But in the same magazine, there is also a full page advert for the new Phoenix Arms Company. Now, there isn't a wealth of information about the Phoenix Arms Company out there, but we can tell quite a lot just from this advert. Uh, first of all, they seem to sell a lot of the same products as the Sussex Armoury, including replica guns, knives, and of most interest to this channel, air guns, one of which were these. Now this pistol was also featured in my Sussex Armoury video. It is an RO72 made by Gun Toys in Italy, but on the UK market it was best known and sold as the Panther Deluxe. Now I have here a April 1976 Sussex Armoury catalogue in which you can see the Panther Deluxe pistol there, but it is also in this Phoenix Arms Company uh, advert and on the side it also says that they are the sole UK agents, distributors or manufacturers of match and sporting air weapons including air match Olympic air pistols, Bisley Gold Cup 30 shot sporting rifles and the Panther range of pistols and carbines at the UK's number one sellers. Uh, I therefore assume that Richard Marriott Smith used the business relationships and contacts he'd built up whilst at the helm of the Sussex Armoury to acquire, or retain really, the distribution rights for the Panther pistols for his new company. Something really interesting you also pick up from this magazine is that despite the fact that Phoenix Arms is a separate company to the Sussex Armoury, there's the continued use of the Jackal brand, namely the Jackal 30 shot JK-47 and Jackal Jets air gun ammunition. Now to a degree I suppose this is understandable as Jackal was essentially his brand that gained the Sussex Armoury commercial success and recognition, uh, albeit only for a time. So I guess he was just trying to hold on to that, um, so you can't really blame him for that. And the Sussex Armoury Association probably helped gain sales. So looking first at the JK-47, you can see a picture of it here. Uh, it looks quite AK-47-like, which is obviously where it got the name from. But if you look at this Sussex Armoury advert, you can see that the... JK-47 here is essentially exactly the same as the uh, Sussex Armoury Jackal Firepower except the JK-47 has a different false magazine on it. Now when the Sussex Armoury folded there was a liquidation sale in April 1982 which you can see an advert for here. Now this advert states that the Sussex Armoury is in liquidation and by order of the joint receivers uh, their entire stock must be sold by public auction and without reserve. All items, apart from the bayonets, are brand new and in mint condition. They include over 500 sporting shotguns, other firearms, replica model guns, the country's largest stock, air guns, air rifles, air pistols and air ammunition, blank firing revolvers and starting pistols, knives and militaria, bayonets and other collectibles. Now, it is known that Richard Marriott Smith bought a large amount of the stock at this sale, so it would appear that he has gone on to piece together a new rifle from the parts and marketed it as the JK-47. 
Now this is evidenced by the fact that the JK-47s did actually say Jackal on the top of the compression chambers, so they were clearly made from old Sussex Armoury stock. Uh, these guns do seem to be very rare now though. So the other Jackal product mentioned here are the Jackal Jets air gun ammunition. And I do actually have a tub of those here. And you can see not only do they use the Jackal wording, but also the Jackal head logo up here is almost identical to that used on earlier Sussex Armoury products. Now these are just generic, quite cheap looking pointed pellets. But for me they're actually the more interesting use of the Jackal brand as these don't seem to be a hangover from the Sussex Armoury days and appear to be a new Phoenix Arms Company product. Now that being said, they're not actually branded as Phoenix Arms Company anywhere and there's no address on them or anything. To compare that to the uh, original Sussex Armoury pellets which clearly say Sussex Armoury and do you say Hailsham Sussex on the side. And uh, that leads me to believe that these were probably made for rather than by the Phoenix Arms Company. Now this design in the plastic tub seems to be the most common, but I have also seen a different design in a tin. Now I've read that these pellets may have been manufactured by Franco Marini in Italy, who made budget pellets for a number of UK companies such as Scale Mead and possibly even the Sussex Armoury. Now these pellets are rarer than the Sussex Armoury ones and therefore fetch a higher price on the second hand market and can change hands for up to £30. Now the other thing that sticks out from this advert is that Richard Marriott Smith uh, seems to have stayed local, at least initially. The address here at the bottom is Phoenix Arms Company Limited, Little London Road, Horham, Heathfield, East Sussex, TN21 OBJ. Now to give you some context, I have a map of East Sussex here. You can see that I've already put the Sussex Army flag in it there in Hersham. And I also have a Phoenix Arms Company flag as of November 1983, which I can stick in Horham. And that is a distance of around five miles. So I'm going to briefly put this map to the side, but I will come back to it in a second. So all that information was from, or at least deduced from, an advert in November 1983. Now, as I said earlier, there isn't masses of information available on the Phoenix Arm Company, so my next documented evidence comes from this trade price list uh, dated August 1987. Now from the front we can see the Phoenix Arms Company has moved and is now located at Phoenix House, Churchdale Road, Eastbourne, East Sussex. So if I get my map back out, I have another flag for the Phoenix Arms Company, this time as of August 1987. And you can see it's still in the general vicinity of the Sussex Armoury, just a few miles further away in Eastbourne. If I flick through the catalogue, you can see that they sell the same kind of products as in 1983, such as blank firing guns, replicas, and knives. Now if I turn to the page on air guns, they actually are selling Far fewer air guns by this time, although it's quite nice to see that the RO72 Panther Deluxe is still in there. Uh, there's no longer any mention though to the Jackal anywhere. Uh, the JK47 isn't here in here, uh, presumably as they had run out of spare parts to make them by this point, and the Jackal Jets are no longer listed in the air gun ammunition. Now I did think that maybe Richard Marriott Smith had learned his lesson about the risks and pitfalls of manufacturing his own products from the demise of the Sussex Armoury, but then I saw this page. A model for the Phoenix Arms G50 air pistol. The G50 is clearly a push barrel GAT style air pistol. Now it says Phoenix on the side and underneath it does say made by Phoenix, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Now when I first saw this picture, I thought it looked quite similar to the Milbro made Diana SP50 pistol and therefore thought it might have been a copy. Um, so I did then look up the SP50 in the blue book of air guns. And it is so similar, I'm actually pretty sure it's the same gun. Now it even says here in the blue book that an identical pistol marketed by Phoenix Arms Company, Eastbourne, East Sussex, England as G50 until at least 1989 also sold as Perfecta SP50. 
So the fact that it was sold under other names and the Phoenix pistol also has the 50 designation leads me to believe that Milbro just made rebadged versions of the gun for other companies and I have read some anecdotal evidence uh, online to support this and I'm therefore of the opinion that the G50 was not actually made by Phoenix but made for Phoenix by Milbro. A couple of years after this trade price list came out there is a significant development in the Phoenix Arms Company story. Now in 1989 the Phoenix Arms Company took over the High Score Company. High Score were quite a well-known US air gun manufacturer and for a quick summary of that company and the takeover by the Phoenix Arms Company I should go back to the Blue Book of Air Guns. If I turn to the High Score page it says that they were a previous distributor and importer located in Brooklyn, New York. The American High Score concentric piston air pistols are well-made air guns by a unique American company. As spring piston air guns, especially with their unusual concentric piston design, they stand in bold contrast to the pump and CO2 guns that were the standard in the USA. And then skipping forward slightly, the American High Score CP air pistols were produced for only about 25 years, but they form one of the most interesting groups of air guns for collectors who appreciate their unique nature. In 1989, the High Score concentric piston design returned full circle to England when the High Score brand became British. Richard Marriott Smith purchased the trademark, plans, and what remained of the long idle High Score factory machinery and High Score pistol parts. Operating under the name of the Phoenix Arms Company in Kent, England, he began production of the new High Score single shot piston using original High Score machinery and many original American parts. Now I do have a photo of one of the high score pistols made by the Phoenix Arms Company, you can see here, and also a picture of one of the boxes they came in. It's obviously high score and you can clearly see that it is manufactured by the Phoenix Arms Company. Now it's interesting that because of their relationship with high score, the Phoenix Arms Company uh, actually gets a bigger mention in the blue book than Sussex Armoury. Now I have here a Phoenix Arms knife brochure from February 1990. You can see here the high score logo and branding has been fully incorporated and it also confirms the move into that in the blue book as the Phoenix Arms Company is now no longer based in Eastbourne, it is at the high score works 40 Sandwich Industrial Estate, Sandwich Kent CT13 9LN. This is the first time the Phoenix Arms Company has moved out of East Sussex so I'll have to switch to a bigger map. This one is of the whole country. I've already got my three flags down here from the Sussex Armoury and the first two Phoenix Arms Company ones. So I've now got my Phoenix Arms Company as of February 1990 flag, which I can put over here in Sandwich. On the subject of new addresses, I also have a photo here of some Phoenix Arms Company headed paper. Uh, this did have writing on it, but I've uh, edited it out as I got this picture from the internet. Now I'm not sure when this dates from, but it must have been around this time as it does have the high score logo. But this actually has yet another address. This one down here has registered office, Hodgson, Impey, Barclay House, 41 Park Cross, Leeds. So, to put that into context, I've got another flag, this one date unknown, that I'm going to put in all the way up here in Leeds. Unfortunately though, in 1991, the Phoenix Arms Company ended up going the same way as the Sussex Armoury. I have here an entry from the 10th of May 1991 edition of the London Gazette, which is a newspaper that publishes statutory notices, and at the bottom there is here an entry saying that the Phoenix Arms Company is now in liquidation. Interestingly enough though, there is yet another address given there. Uh, in that notice it says the registered address is 8 Baker Street, London. So, my final flag, May 1991. You can see from the map just how much the Phoenix Arms Company moved around compared to the Sussex Armoury which stayed in just one location and was around for longer. Now the Blue Book of Air Guns actually very nicely sums up the end of the Phoenix Arms Company. Uh, still under the high score section though. And they conclude by saying that it was a rather expensive, unfamiliar style for the English market and regular exports to the USA were precluded by the lack of safety mechanism. Production was extremely limited. 
Almost as soon as the Phoenix Arms had arisen from the ashes of Marriott Smith's other gun enterprises, it disappeared, having created instant collectibles. I hope you found the video interesting and that you've learnt something about the Phoenix Arms Company. Now I know this video hasn't been as in-depth as my video on the Sussex Armoury and it did involve some degree of speculation but that's because there just isn't as much information or as many products out there as the Phoenix Arms Company weren't as big or influential a company as the Sussex Armoury. The Phoenix Arms Company were only a small air gun company which are now consigned to the annals of history but I just have an interest because of the local connection and because I'm a big fan of the Sussex Armoury. Now I'm from Sussex, hence the local connection, so what I thought I'd do is, like in my video for the Sussex Armoury, is I thought I'd go out and see if I could find where some of these places were. I'm currently just driving into Horham, which is where that first address was from the November 1983 Airgun World advert. It was on Little London Road, which I'm just about to come onto, but you can see the sign just there on the left. Now this road is, however, around three miles long, I have no idea where the place was and it just said Phoenix Arms Company Limited Little London Road Forum so I guess I'll just drive down to the end uh, I will time lapse it though to save you spending ages just watching me driving Now down in Eastbourne, which is where that second address was from the August 1987 trade price list. It was on Churchdale Road, which I'm just turning on to now. Now the premises was called Phoenix House, but I can't find any current records of a Phoenix House on Churchdale Road, so I assume that that was just what they named the building whilst they were there. So unfortunately that means that I can't actually pinpoint the exact location of this place either. So thanks for watching, be sure to like, comment and subscribe to the Air Armoury and until next time, keep your arms in the air.